Hello and welcome everybody, it's Epic Player, and today I'm going to show you how you can install Minecraft shaders, or also known as Sun Example Label shaders, on the newest Minecraft version, which is 1.5.2. Now, first thing you want to do is navigate to your .minecraft folder, which is located under C, Users, Admin, or whatever your username is of the computer, update a roaming.minecraft, and go into your bin folder. That's right, the bin folder here, right here. Now what you want to do is select the MD5, the Minecraft.jar as well as the version file and delete all of those by clicking the delete button and selecting yes. We do that to be sure that we have a correct Minecraft installation with no box or errors inside or any other conflicting mods. Uh, you can see this takes a few seconds, it should normally not take more than a minute if you have a de decent internet connection. There we go, it's starting up. You can see it's Minecraft 152. We go into single player to quickly verify that everything's working. It is, we have a normal default Minecraft world just with my texture pack, if there is ascended. Now what you want to do is go to the description of this video and download these two files, which are probably in one file at a time. Uh, once that is the Optifine newest version, the D2 Ultra, as well as the Chronix GLSL Shaders mod. Now, what you want to do is open the Optifine file with right click, open with WinRAR, or just select uh, open if you have a default program. You also want to go one back and open the Minecraft.jar with WinRAR or whatever program you have. Now just put them on a side of each other, on the left I got the Optifine, on the right the Minecraft.jar. What you want to do and what is really important is you have to delete the meter inf folder in the Minecraft jar. Otherwise this is not going to work because Optifine is going to spaz out like crazy. So delete that file, there we go, you see it's gone. And now drag and drop all of the files of the Optifine uh, archive into the Minecraft jar. Um, drag and drop it over the files and not over the folders, otherwise it, c it could happen that you put it in a folder there and it won't work. What I want to do next is install the Chronix file, just close Optifine, go back into the folder here, open the Chronix archive and drag and drop these files as well into the micro jar. There we go, it's inside. Close those archives and that was it. You don't believe me? Well, look at it yourself. Log into Minecraft, waiting to load up. Come on, hurry up. Single player world, and you will see we have beautiful shaders. For one, we got the sun rays. For one, we got the shader on the ground. There's my shadow. Uh, in the newest version of Optifine, we also got the Better Sky mod, which is this really cool looking thing. You just need a texture pack that actually has support for Better Sky and. Uh, then you're ready to make your beautiful cinematics as I am trying to do every day. Now I hope you had uh, you had some fun watching this tutorial or at least uh, you were successful in the installation. If you still have problems I am gladly going to help you or at least try to help you. So just leave me a comment in the description and it starts raining. Amazing. Um, well if you enjoyed the video then please rate, favorite and subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye.